Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be talking about how to stay motivated when learning the piano. As with any voluntary learning experience, when you first start learning the piano you probably have two great weeks of piano practice, practicing every day, multiple times a day, and then the reality hits after about two weeks when other things in your life take over and you realise it's too hard to keep up the routine. So my first piece of advice would be to pace yourself and practice little and often. There's nothing worse than that dread when you've got loads of stuff to do and then you're thinking, I also have to get an hour's piano practice in as well. Well, that doesn't need to be the case. You just need to think about doing small amounts of practice as and when you can fit it into your day. So maybe before work or before school or maybe before you have dinner. Either way, it should be an activity that you want to do because at the end of the day, piano is a fun thing to learn. And that is still the case if you want to do music as a career. You build up to that level of time where it becomes more of a job than it does a recreational activity. And you do that after you've had that reward loop of getting better and seeing how you can improve. This brings me on to being efficient. It's all well and good me saying practice when you can and practice in small amounts of time, but there's no use of practicing a small amount of time if your practice isn't efficient. So you need to prioritise your practice and pick the things that you need to work on the most. And I will be doing a video on how to get the best out of 10 minutes. And I would also suggest trying to include playing something that you want to play. When you're first learning the piano, if you're with a piano teacher, they'll try and get you to read notes, they'll try and get you to read rhythms, they'll try and give you some music theory knowledge and then you've got to try and apply that in your practice to your playing and this is obviously the correct way of doing that however if you feel like you're sitting down at the piano and playing lots of things like homework that you have to do then that's going to also stop this from being sustainable so even if you've been told or you feel like a piece or a song is too hard for you to learn at the moment have a go anyway Yes, the technique might not be right and it might not be perfect, but this is something that you can improve over time. And if you take that song or piece to a teacher who will understand that obviously you want to get out of it what you want to get out of it, then they should help you avoid making technical errors that could damage your playing in the long term. And I'm not saying you should just disregard what your teacher's telling you to do, obviously not, because that can be damaging to your long term playing, especially if there's any tension involved. But what I am saying is if you are losing motivation, then the best thing to do is to go back to enjoying it, which may be learning something you want to learn and there are often easier versions of songs and pieces anyway depending on what level you are the real aim here is to make you feel like you are achieving something and that it isn't taking over your life achieving it so I would also suggest writing down small achievable goals with whatever you're working on. So maybe that's two notes in one of the songs or pieces that you're doing. Maybe that's one hand of a scale or maybe that's three notes of a scale. But before you do any practice, if you have a long list of small goals that you can just tick off, that will always help. Because not only will that help you be motivated, but it will actually make your practice much more efficient anyway. And if you keep a record of these practice sessions or tick lists, then you can look back and see how far you've come. Because learning the piano is often one of those things where you can only see the progress when you're looking retrospectively. And while you're there documenting your practices, I would also suggest recording yourself. Now you can do this once a month, once every two months, once every six months. But this does two things. The first thing it does is give you something to look back on. It gives you something where you can see an active measurement of how you're progressing. The second thing it does is give you something to look back at and critique. It's actually very hard when you're playing to leave enough concentration to listen to what you're actually playing. So by recording yourself, you're taking away the concentration used to play and you're just able to listen to what was good and bad about your playing. The final thing I would suggest in order to keep yourself motivated is to regularly listen to pieces and songs that you find inspirational or motivating. It's not very often that students come to me without some kind of song or piece that they've listened to and want to learn eventually. So if you're starting to lose motivation, go back to that song or that piece or anything else and listen to it. This should help you remember why you started learning and help you to regain some motivation. If you have lost motivation, regained motivation, or have any experience in this topic, then let me know about it in the comments. And if you found this video useful, then hit me with a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.